Yeah, I want to soak you a little. Church goer. Amen. Some of y'all go to church and say amen to some old no good rotten thing that you call a preacher. Yeah. And you go because he's your uncle or he's your daddy or he's your old sloppy mouth brother-in-law. That's right. Or he's your boyfriend or he's your second husband. Amen. You old hypocrite. Amen. Eh? That's right. And you say amen to him not considering whether he's telling you the truth. Yeah. Not considering. That's right. I had a wonderful, interesting conversation. Uh, so much is in my mind, but I had an interesting conversation with the Catholic priest. Mm. Amen. He saw the discussion mm. between me and the Church of God in Christ, and you know, the Catholic priest for years been talking about that there was the Trinity. Right. Amen. They've been talking about it for years, and. Uh, he said, I found the discussion interesting, and he's called my attention to the book of Revelation about the Lord was clothed with the vexture. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He said, he called me Reverend Jennings. Mm -hmm. He started to call me father. I said, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I didn't call him father either. No. I ain't called him father. No. Why, you ain't my father. father. One is my father, even Christ. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Amen. And listen, if there's no room there, you can bring them, let them get seated right here. Amen. Just, just, you can let them get seated right up here. I know it's tight, but watch the light, watch the light, and just let them come on, you know. Amen. If you want to sit there, fine. But uh, there's some empty chairs up here. It doesn't matter because I'm recording. Right. Amen. I'm used to moving around. Amen. We can adapt. We can adjust. That's right. When Spirit get a hold of William, you know he always moving around. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You get what I'm telling. Amen. All right. Let me let me break this down. And I I, I went, and the priest got this scripture, mm -hmm. and because you know uh, Pope Francis believed that flesh and blood. In fact, he said flesh and blood is in heaven, just like him. My Lord. He said Jesus is in heaven. With flesh and blood body like him. My Lord. You know, I'm glad God made me a preacher. Amen. Where I can see the things of the Bible. That's right. So he pointed out this to me in the 19th chapter of Revelation. Listen at this. Revelation chapter 19, we're at verse 13. Get this now. And he was clothed with a vesture. Ha! Ah. Dipped in blood. And what? And his name is called the word of God. Now let me educate you. You that are here, you that are watching, and you that are listening and won't admit it. <laughs> you know, when God showed signs in heaven, mm -hmm. many times the ignorance of the preachers, mm -hmm. they think if God shows something in heaven, right. that the event that he showed actually is taking place in heaven. In heaven. That's right. You're so That's foolish. Right. That's right. <laughs> You're so ignorant. Amen. Yeah. Amen. They actually think if God shows something in heaven, mm -hmm. that means it's actually happening right. in heaven. In heaven. No. 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 When God showed many things in heaven, mm -hmm. the actual events was to take place on earth. Thy will be done. Listen, don't you hear the Bible? Now in the book of St. Luke chapter 11 and we're at verse 2. Don't you forgot the prayer. The prayer. You forgot a segment of the prayer. That's right. That Jesus prayed. That's right. Thine will, will be, be done. done. As in heaven. As. As in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. You got to have it. You got to have an apostle. To come. He, he got, yeah. You got to put him, fit him in the scripture. Hallelujah. So he can show you these things. That's right. As in as heaven. it is in heaven. In heaven. So in earth. So in earth. In now earth. prophecy. Hallelujah. 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 There's prophecy. Hallelujah. That's to take place on earth. That's right. But here show it. Yes. In heaven. In heaven. Let me give you a quick peep example. Let me give you a quick peep. Amen. Fifth chapter, the book of Revelation. Revelation. Mm -hmm. Revelation chapter 5. Glory to God, get this now. And we'll start at verse 1. All right, read quick. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne. I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne. A book written within and with on, and on the back side. Now, the throne is heaven. Right, heaven. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Amen. And he's letting him see this 
actually in heaven. In heaven. All right. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within. A book written within. And on the back side. And on the back side. Sealed with seven seals. Sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. Said what? Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals? Who is thereof? worthy to open the book and loose the seals thereof? And who is worthy? Who is worthy? And to no release man. the contents of the book. Right. And fulfill what's in there. That's right. And what? And no man in heaven. Wait a minute. No man in heaven. Nor in earth. Now let me just educate you. Because what John looking at. Yeah. It already happened. Oh, that's, right. that's right. Don't you know the word. Look the book of Revelation is a threefold book. Right. It deal with events of the past. Mm -hmm. Present and future. That's right. And what he's reading here. It already happened. Amen. Listen good. And no man in heaven. No man in heaven. Nor in earth. Nor under the earth. Was able to open the book. Was to look able thereon. to open the book and to look thereon. And I wept much. I cried about it. Because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book. And neither to look thereon. Then what? And one of the elders said unto me, weep not. Weep not. Behold the lion of the tribe of Judah. That happened already. That's right. The lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David. David's root. Hath prevailed. What? Hath prevailed. What? Hath prevailed. What? Hath prevailed. It already was done. That's but right. he saw it in heaven. In heaven. That's right. That's right. Why did he show it in heaven? Go ahead, man. Go Thank ahead. God because the death of the son of man. Not only would it affect earth. It was ordained from heaven. From heaven. You see, first everything got to be ordained from heaven. That's right. Then it take place on earth. That's right. Prophecy comes from heaven. Amen. And then it's given here on earth. That's right. What did he say there? And one of the elders said unto me, we All right, don't right, go cracking up on me now. Amen. Yeah, they go getting soprano on me now. What did he say? And one of the elders said unto That's me, That's much better. Amen. Yeah, sound like one of the elders. One of the elders. Say it to me, weep not. Don't go sound like you're about to weep up here. <laughs> One of the elders say unto me, weep not. Behold the lion of the tribe of Judah. Wait a minute. That already happened. Right. It was talk about his arrival way back in Genesis. That's right. When Jacob was about to die, right. he called all his sons together. Issachar, Simeon, and Levi, and Reuben, and Gad. And, but when he got to Judah, when he got to Judah. Judah. Oh, my God. He said, lion Judah. Here. That was the lions wept. From the prey, From the my, prey son. my son. You're going up, you stoop down as a lion, as an old lion. Who shall rise him up? The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh go. Come. Uh -huh. Now, when Jacob said that, it didn't happen. Right. That's right. Now, when Jacob prophesied that, it didn't happen. That's right. But by the time John got a hold of it, it already happened. Right. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. Go back to the book of Revelation chapter 19. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how we educated the priests. Back in Revelation chapter 19 and verse 13. Begin at verse 12. And verse 12. All right. His eyes were as a flame of fire. You better begin at verse 11. 11. And I saw heaven open. Uh-oh. Amen. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I saw what? I saw heaven open. Blessed be God. I saw heaven open, open, and behold, and behold, a white horse. Hallelujah. I saw heaven open, open, and a white horse, a white horse. What? And he that sat upon him, he that sat upon him, was called faithful and true, was called faithful and true, and true, and in righteousness, and in righteousness, he doeth judge and make war. Wait a minute. Amen. Wait a minute. Who is he making war with? And in righteousness. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Who is Jesus making war with in heaven? Wow. You didn't see that, did you, preachers? Jesus is not making war with nobody in heaven. Right. Nobody. Nobody. War took place in heaven one time. That's right. And that was when Lucifer rose up right. against the Lord. That's right. War is an act of confusion. Amen. And God is not the author of confusion. So prophecy was made on earth. Yeah. 
There shall be wars and rumors of wars. You preachers didn't see that. Amen. You see, you got to see every word oh, yeah. that proceeded out of the mouth of God. That's right. What he said. And in righteousness. In righteousness. He doeth judge. He do judge. And make war. Make war. His eyes. His eyes. Were as a flame of fire. It didn't say they are a flame of fire. As a flame of fire. As. Let you know that he's a comforter and a consumer. That's right. And, and on his head. On his head. Were many crowns. Was what? Many crowns. Was what? Many crowns. That means he's king of kings and lord of lords. That's right. He's the one and only superior God. That's right. And, and he had a name written. Uh-oh. Now listen to what I'm about to say. Yeah. After he read it. Right. And he had a name written. What was it? That no man knew but he himself. Wait. He had a name written. Written. That no man knew. That nobody knew. No man knew. No man knew it. No man knew, but he himself. He had a name written? A name written that no man knew. Give me Zechariah. Let's see how many names he got. That's it. That's right. Zechariah chapter 14. Amen. Zechariah chapter 14. You see the difference in this program? We just don't read scripture. That's right. We analyze it. That's right. Amen. We put one scripture in the tube and put another scripture in the tube and you see how you mix. That's right. And come out with such a beautiful, sweet formula. Amen. Listen. Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 9. All right. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. And what? In that day. Wait a minute. A particular day coming. In that day. In that day. Shall there be one Lord. How many names he going to have? And his name one. His name was already revealed. That's right. His name was already revealed. That's right. That's why we're able to call on him. Call on him. That's right. Mm. Glory to God. What did, what did the Apostle John say in the book of Revelation? And he had a name written. He had a name written. That no man knew. That no man knew. But he himself. But he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture. Uh-oh. Now, listen at this. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And praise him. And he was clothed with a vesture. Just, just him reading it. It makes me feel good. Wonderful. My God, it just puts something sanctimonious all in my bosom. Hallelujah. What is it? And he was clothed with a vesture. Hold it. Now, what is a vesture? Vesture. What's a vesture? Yeah. It's a garment. Like a robe. Yeah. He was clothed with a vesture. With a vesture. Dipped. Dipped in blood. Dipped. 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 Yeah. Dipped. Dipped in blood. In blood. And his name. And his name. Is called the word of God. That's not his name. No. That's right. But yet the apostle said. And his name is called the word of God. That's not his name. That's right. But the way the Lord moved on John to talk was the same way he moved on Isaiah to talk yeah. in Isaiah 9 and, 6. 9 and 6. Now John said his name shall be called the word of God. The word of God. And we know the name of God is Jesus. That's right. Because he's the Christ. That's right. You see you got to have revelation or if you don't you have to think the Bible contradicting itself. That's right. Now John said under the inspiration of the almighty God his name shall be called word of God. Word of God. Word of God. But yet the Bible said, whatsoever you do, in word. That's right. That's right. But his name shall be called. Word of God. But whatsoever you do, in word. That's right. And the do all. And the name of the Lord Jesus. Now I want to use it, Isaiah 9 and 6 right. as an example. Right. His name shall be called the word of God. And yet that's not his name. That's right. But then I'm going to teach you why he's called the word of God. Isaiah chapter 9 and at verse 6. Listen. For unto us a child is born. Now, ain't no child was born back then to save you. No. But it spoke, used the word is, mean present tense. And yet that is wouldn't come till hundreds of years later. Unto us a child is born. Is born. Talking about the arrival of Jesus, the son of man. Unto the only us, begotten of the father. That's right. Unto us. A son is born. Talking about the death of Jesus. Jesus didn't die there. That's right. Right. He didn't die there. No. Flesh and blood given. wasn't begotten there. Right. But yet it says, is, is given. given. Right. Yeah, he wouldn't give himself until hundreds of years later. That's right. But what? And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And what, what did he say there? And his name shall be called Wonderful. That's not his name. Right. 
Huh? You see the way God dealt with the prophets like he did the apostles? That's right. The apostles said his name shall be called the word of God and thine his name. No. But yet the prophet Isaiah says what? And his name shall be called wonderful. And his name. Right. But you get a lot of wonderful things by using his name. That's right. Eh? That's right. What else? Counselor. Oh, counselor is not his name. Amen. To let you know you can get consolation or great encouragement through his name. That's right. What else? The mighty God. The mighty God is not his name. The no. mighty God got a name. That's right. The mighty God is the title of him. That's right. What else? The everlasting father. Wait a minute. Everlasting Father? The Everlasting Father. That's the title. Right. Simply showing you how long you've been around. That's right. Everlasting Father. That means he has no beginning and no ending. That's right. What else? The Prince of Peace. That's not talking about the Spirit. That's talking about the body that would come. Right. For the Spirit is not a prince. The Spirit is a king. That's the right. The prince is lower than a king. And when the body got here, it is said they killed the Prince, the prince of, life. of Life. That's right. What? Eh? Amen. They killed Isaac. The prince of Lord, life. They got the prince of life, Amen. and the prince of life was the man, the mediator, the son of God, right. Christ Jesus, the apostle. That's right. Uh -huh. And his name shall be called Wonderful. And I, none of those are his names. No, 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 no. Those are titles, how he functioned. That's right. Uh -huh. Back in Revelation 19 and verse 13. All right. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Now, the dumb priest read this to me and said, blood is in heaven. Mm. Now, you know what I asked him that he never thought of? Mm. I said, well, if blood is in heaven, I said, would you agree Jesus fulfilled prophecy? Right. He said, yes, sir, Reverend Jennings. I said, would you also agree that when it came down to Jesus, it was cause and effect? Yeah. He said, yes, sir, Reverend Jennings. I said, what if, if you say blood was in heaven, what happened in heaven to make Jesus bleed? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Name one thing. Glory to God. You need an apostle, brother. Yes, you do. Name one thing. One thing. That happened Amen. in heaven hmm. that made Jesus bleed. Jesus bleed. And now you got to find out when was it clothed with the vexture right. and when was it dipped in blood. That's right. Give me Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 63. Chapter 63. And we'll start with verse 1. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Who is that? Who is he that cometh from Edom? Oh, thank God. That's coming from where? From Edom. From where? From Edom. How is he coming? From Edom with dyed garments oh, of Bozra. his garment is dyed. Dyed. Dyed garment. Something happened to him to make his garment change colors. That's right. Huh? Eh? That's right. That's the vexture. That's right. The vexture is the garment that was dyed. That's right. All right. Who is he that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bozo? Dyed garment from Bozo. This that is glorious in his apparel. He's glorious where? In his apparel. Now, okay, keep going, son. Then, then we got to get Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John uh, when, we, when he had that apparel on. Right. All right. This that is glorious in his apparel. Right. Is traveling in the greatness of his strength. Then I also want to get when they cast lots for it. Right. All right. I that speak in righteousness. Uh -huh. Mighty to save. Uh -huh. Wherefore art thou red? Wait a minute. You're red with what? In thine apparel. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. He was red in thine apparel. When he was on the cross. That's right. When they pierced him in the side. Yes, That's right. And the blood came from that wound. Yeah. Dyed his garment or stained his garment. That's right. The garment was the vexture. Yeah. Now let's get the New Testament. Amen. And get to the cross quickly. Quickly. Back in now in St. John chapter 19. All right. And at verse 32. We'll Follow begin. me. Follow me now. St. John 19 and at verse 32. Oh, dumb Catholics and all these other folks. You see when I asked the, the brother during the debate, is flesh in heaven? He said, yeah. yeah, yeah. And when William's red, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. He, he, he was dumbfounded. <laughs> yes, he was. He was dumbfounded. That's right. Huh? That's right. Now notice, ignorant men said blood was in heaven because they read Revelation without Revelation. That's right. That's what you read Revelation without Revelation. That's right. We read Revelation with Revelation. Amen. If the Bible says blood can't get in, it can't even get in on your clothing. That's right. If God said no, he means no. Amen. 
He can't get it in no kind of way. No kind of way. What John saw already happened. That's right. Because he witnessed it on earth. Yeah. All right, listen at this. Now in St. John chapter 19, we're at verse 32. All amen, then, false prophets. Amen. All right. Then came the soldiers and break the legs of the first. Yes. And of the other which was crucified with him. Uh -huh. But when they came to Jesus. When they came to Jesus. And saw that he was dead already. He was already dead. They break not his legs. Then what? But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. Pierced his side. And forthwith came there out blood and water. Yes. And he that saw it bear record. Uh -huh. And his record is true. Wait a minute. John is talking about himself. Right. He that saw it. And he that saw it bear, bear record. record. And his record is true. This is the same John yeah. that wrote the book of Revelation. Right. right. That's why he's able to refer back to what happened. That's right. Because he lived it. He saw it. That's he right. was eyewitnesses of his majesty. Yeah. He was an eyewitness of him. That's right. Walked with him, talked with him, ate with him, handled him, witnessed his death. Yeah. All right. And by one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. Yes. And forthwith came there out blood and water. All right. Now in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 27. Follow me. And at verse 35. And, and they crucified him. They crucified and him. And parted his garments. And parted his garments. Casting lots. Casting lots. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. And they parted my garments among them. They parted my garments among them. And upon my vesture. And upon my vesture. Did they cast lots. They cast lots. And sitting down, they watched him there. They cast lots that's, that's, for that garment. That's right. And upon, they cast lots for that garment. Right. And upon and upon my vesture, my vesture, did they cast lots? So when John said he was clothed in vesture, dipped dip, in blood, dip in John blood. by the Spirit was reliving a past death. That's right. That which already took place. That's right. That's right. But Put him in the spirit. Amen. Let him see what already happened. I saw heaven open. Wait a minute. Amen. I saw heaven open. Open. God, let him see what already happened. That's right. That's Amen. Right. Someone said, well, wait a minute. There ain't no Bible where God can let someone see already happened. Give me, uh, I believe it's Jeremiah, Jeremiah 423, 423, if I'm not mistaken there. Amen. Give me Amen. Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 4, Glory verse to 23. God, uh, 423. Mm -hmm. All right, here. Yeah. I beheld the earth. What? I beheld the earth. Glory to God. Amen. Here's a man who wasn't back when God created anything. That's right. He wasn't back then. No. But he said, I, 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 I saw the earth. I beheld the earth. I saw the earth. And lo. And lo. It was without form. Oh, when God showed me the earth, he let me see before it had form. And void. He let me see it before it even had life on it. And the heavens. And the heavens. And they had no life. Wait a minute. God let me see before he separated the light and the darkness. I beheld the mountains. I saw, I saw the mountains. And lo. And lo. They tremble. Oh, glory. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh, my Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. To God. Do you understand? I beheld the mountain. So here you have the book of Revelation. is a book that deal with present events. That's right. Past events. Amen. And future events. That's right. Go back to the 19th chapter of Revelation. Back in Revelation 19. So you dumb, ignorant serpent preachers. Amen. Catholics and everything else. Yeah. Who actually think in the book of Revelation that meant blood was in heaven? In heaven. No, foolish. foolish. Don't you hear the Bible says he was clothed? That's right. He was clothed. He was clothed. He was. Not that he is. He was. He was clothed. Amen. With a vesture. Not that he is. Right. Don't you know they cast lots because they wanted that garment? That's right. That's right. That's right. They wanted that garment. Amen. And they crucified him. Yeah. They crucified him. Back in St. Matthew 27 and verse 35. They crucified him. And parted his garment. And they parted his garment. Casting lots. Casting lots. That it might be fulfilled that was it, spoken by the prophet. That it might be fulfilled that was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them. They parted my garment. Uh, you see, the, the, the prophet saw everything. Saw everything. Oh, yeah, that's right. Whatever pertained to Jesus for our learning, That's right. he let the prophets see it first, first, long before the apostles came here. They parted my garments, amen. And there was no prophet saw Jesus, right. an incident happened in heaven that made him bleed. That's right. 
It ain't nothing happens to Jesus in heaven no. to make him bleed. No, no. Nothing. Flesh and blood cannot endure. Nothing. Here, 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 first here second, now. Before second. he got to the cross, you don't read him bleeding. No. no. You don't read him bleeding before no, he no. got to the cross. No, no. Why? The purpose of bleeding was for redemption. That's right. Without the shedding of blood, there is no redemption of sins. That's right. No remission. In order for us to be redeemed, blood had to be shed. That's right. Glory to God. Do you hear? Do you hear? First Corinthians chapter 15 and at verse 15. Is, now this I say, brother. Let your blood should not inherit the kingdom of God. That, Go back to where you are. Back in Revelation chapter 19 and verse 13. Follow me. And he was clothed with a vesture. He was. Was clothed. He was. Was. Now the question is, when? When? Was. That's right. He clothed. That's right. With the vexion. When? When? Glory to God, when he was That's right. on the cross. That's right. Eh? That's right. Wow. Amen. And they cast lots because they wanted they those wanted clothing. It. That's right. They cast lots. We would call it gambling. That's yeah. Right. They cast lots for them because they wanted those clothes. That's right. Now, in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 27. Hear this. Back at verse 31. All right. And after they had mocked him. After they mocked him. They took the robe off from him. Wait a minute. Mm. They took it off him? They took the robe off from him. They took the robe off of him. And put his own raiment on him. And put his own raiment on him. And led him away to crucify Led him away to crucify him. And they crucified him. And they crucified him. And parted his garments. And parted his garments. Casting lots. Casting lots. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. What? They parted my garments among them. And, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. So no, Jesus didn't take a bloody garment in heaven. No, no way. <laughs> You, brother, these fellas are sad. Yes, it is. I want you Catholics to get this. That's right. Jesus did not take a bloody garment in heaven. No. Never. No. Never. No. What John was looking at was what happened when he was on the cross. That's right. If you can't even get the cross right, get out the pulpit. Amen. Anytime a preacher don't even know what happened on the cross, on the cross. get out the pulpit. That's right. Give me some more of the 19th chapter book of Revelation, son. Now in Revelation 19 and verse 14. Get me. And the armies which were in heaven. Uh-oh. Amen. Now the armies. Which were in heaven. Which were in heaven. Followed him upon white horses. Amen. They did what? Followed him. Followed him. Upon white horses. Upon white horses. Clothed in fine linen. Clothed in fine linen. White and clean. White and clean. And out of his mouth. And out of his mouth. Goeth a sharp sword. What else? That with it he should smite the nations. What? That with it he shall smite the nations. That didn't happen yet. No. No, it didn't. You see how quick it went from past yeah, that's right. to future? Yeah, that's right. Future. That didn't happen yet. That's right. Total different event altogether. And out of his mouth. Out of his mouth. Goeth a sharp sword. Goeth a sharp sword. That with it. That with it. He should. He should. Smite the nation. He didn't do it yet. No, he should. <laughs> yeah. That's right. He, he went from the statement was, was to should. That's right. He should smite the nation. I want to say to my viewers, watch this program. Amen. You will learn the Bible. Yes, you will. You will learn it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Better than you ever did. That's right. These men that's on social media and on radio and on television, these fellas are not preachers. No. There's a Western term that you call these men, carpetbaggers. That's right. They're just carpetbaggers. Amen. They go from town to town collecting money off of false churches that's so right. they can live good. Amen. Let that false prophet get a job and go to work that's and right. then from work let them go to hell. That's right. Hell? That's right. What did he say? And out of his mouth. Out? Of his mouth. Go with a sharp sword. Go with a sharp sword. That with it. With it. He should. That ain't happened yet. Smite the nations. He should smite the nations. And he Right now he ain't smiting the nations. He having mercy on mercy. the nations now. That's right. Uh -huh. And he shall rule them. He shall rule he them. He shall rule them. He shall rule them. With a rod of iron. That ain't happened yet. Give no. me the 15th chapter book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. That's right. Then. Come at the end. Come at the end. The end. the end. That let you know when that will take place. That's right. Huh? Then come at the end. Oh, glory. In 1 Corinthians 15 <laughs> and verse 24. You see how the Bible harmonizes? That's right. Then come at then. the end. Then. Then. Come at the end. When he shall. When he shall deliver up. The kingdom to God. The kingdom to God. Even the Father. Even the Father. When he shall, when put, he down shall all put down rule, all rule. And all authority. All authority. And power. And power. For he must reign. But wait a minute. When it's going to happen. Then when it's going to happen. Then come at the end. The end. When? The end. 
Go back to Revelation. Back in Revelation, and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword. Yes. That with it he should smite the nation. Yes. That with it he should smite the nation. And, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. He shall do what? He shall rule them. But, with a, but when it's going to take place? Then cometh the end. You preachers can't, don't know the end from the beginning or the middle. <laughs> That's right. Get out the pulpit. That, amen. amen. Go ahead. Man. Get out the pulpit. Go ahead. You need a teacher. Yeah. Who will take God, a teacher, see these things. That's right. You see, you just can't read something to me, then you get happy and jump. <laughs> no, no. No, that, that don't work here. That don't work. That's right. Ah. Ah. That's right. Don't you know God speak those things that are not? As though they were. As though they were. As though they were. Amen. There was no blood up in heaven. No, he answered and said unto Do them. Do you hear the Bible talking? Down in the book of St. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11. What is it? He answered and said unto them. What? Because it is given unto you. Talking to his apostles. That's right. That's why we can see all this stuff in the Bible. That's right. It's given. Yeah. Unto you. It's given. That's right. God gave it to me. Amen. And you can get mad at me as you want, brother, but God, Ooh, glory. God gave it to me. That's right. I'm not trying to get it. God uh, gave it to it me. It is given. It's given. It is given unto you, you to know the mystery, to think about it, to know, to guess, to know, to suggest, to know, to get the scriptures confused, to know. To know what? To know the mystery. To know what everybody else don't know. Of the kingdom of heaven. The mystery concerning what? Of the kingdom of heaven. Concerning what? The kingdom of heaven. That's why I can tell you about it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That's why we can tell you about heaven. It's a mystery up there. Hallelujah! It is given unto you. Here's, here's John. Hallelujah! Said he saw him clothed with the vexture. Dipped in blood. Dipped in blood. And his name is called the word of God. And you got to be a God sent preacher to be able to go there and tell the people when he was clothed with the vexture and when it was covered in blood. That's right. Amen. Well, the Bible said heaven opened. Yes, heaven opened. But the event that he saw didn't take place up there. Right. If it did, show me what happened in heaven to make my Lord bleed. Bleed. That's right. He wasn't pierced up there. No. That's right. He didn't suffer up there. No, no. All of that, glory to God, took place right here. Right here. Even the other things about the armies, that's going to affect here. Right. Here. That's right. Do you hear what he says? And the armies which were in heaven. And the armies that were in heaven. Followed him upon white horses. Followed him on white horses. Clothed in fine linen, white and clean. What else? And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword. And. And with it he should smite the nation. Wait a minute. There ain't no nations in heaven. Did you see that? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Why is he riding a white horse? White horse. That let you know he's a conqueror. That's right. He will conquer those nations. That's right. He should smite the nations. He gonna conquer them. Amen. He gonna smite them. And he shall and rule get them. victory over them. Right. And he gonna get victory over them, and he gonna rule over them. That's right. Thank God. But before that happened, you gonna find those nations submitting to the mark of the beast. Right, right. And after the mark of the beast is fulfilled, yeah. and when the coming of the Lord take place yeah. with his army, that's right. Amen. With his army. His army. Now the question is, who's God's army? Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Who's God's army? Go no, therefore. Hey, oh, yeah. take God. Are you getting it, sir? Oh, yeah. Who's God's army? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You preachers, you preachers. You better stop playing with the Bible. That's right. Many of you have blasphemed too many times. Yeah. The moment you say blood. Was in heaven, in heaven. you blaspheme. That's right. If you put it in there in the smallest minute way, <laughs> because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians uh -huh. 
15, 50. 50. This I say, brethren. That flesh and blood. That flesh and blood. Cannot. Tell one say, well, it's just that that means talking about a body. Blood can be on anything. That's right. Blood can be on a rag, a scarf, or clothing. That's right. And the Bible makes plain. Now this I say, brethren. What? That flesh. Hold it. No human being. Flesh. No human being. And. No human, nobody from the human race. That's nobody right. that got a relative. Flesh. Nobody that got a bloodline. That's right. No cousin. Flesh. That's right. Hmm? Flesh. Flesh. Flesh and blood. It rule out the existence of blood in eternity totally. Totally. That's right. That's right. Cannot inherit the kingdom Wait, of God. What did God say about it? Flesh and blood cannot. No, yes it can. Cannot. Yes it can. Cannot. Yes it can. Cannot. Viewers, if God said something cannot happen, cannot. there is no revelation to debunk it. That's right. God said it's impossible, impossible for him to lie. That's right. So there's no need for no one to come up and say, oh, God did lie one time. No, he didn't. Oh, no. No way. God said. Amen. This I say, brethren. This I say, brethren. That flesh. Flesh. And blood. Blood. Cannot. Blood. 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 One time John said, I saw heaven open. And I saw, as it were, a lamb. As it has been slain. He even saw that in heaven. That's right. There wasn't no lame slain in heaven. No. <laughs> eh? Didn't it say so? Now in the book of Revelation chapter 5. Listen at this. I read verse 6. Revelation 5 and begin at verse 5. At verse 5. Oh, glory to God. I love this. This is just sweet food, you know. Amen. You know, a lot of times my wife have the kitchen just humming. Sometimes I just come downstairs. I'm like, girl, what you cooking? She said, go on up there. It ain't ready yet. I said, I may not be ready, but I want to know what it is anyway. Amen. See, there's a lot of things in the Bible that God hasn't revealed yet. Yeah. And what's happening to a lot of men who's trying to show off and act like they got revelation about something that they don't understand, it ain't revealed yet. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you have to wait have to for wait. God to make it known. That's right. And when it's made known, you can go through the Old Testament and new yeah. and make them interlock that's right huh? that's right because the prophets don't debunk the apostles no the prophets and the apostles agree with each other Amen. that's why paul said i told you no other thing that's right. but what yeah. moses and the prophet said should come Amen. Huh? revelation chapter 5 we'll start at verse 5 now you can put me anywhere in the bible i'm home that's right huh? that's right i say i'm home amen all right revelation 5 and we'll begin at verse 5 get this and one of the elders saith unto me weep not don't cry behold the lion of the tribe of judah one of the elders said unto me behold the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david david's root hath prevailed to open the book john what you crying for he already done it that's right you know he done it because you live through it that's right and i had to loose the seven seals thereof and what and i beheld uh oh and lo wait a minute I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne, notice this, Amen. in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, stood a lamb, as it had been slain, there wasn't no lamb up in heaven slain, up in heaven, the death of the lamb was on earth, that's right, that's right, the death of the lamb was on earth, that's right, but he had a will on earth yes. as it was in heaven. It was in heaven. Amen. Amen. So and I beheld. I beheld. And lo, in the midst of the throne. In the midst of the throne. And of the four beasts. And of the four beasts. And in the midst of the elders. What was it? Stood a lamb as it had been slain. I saw Jesus as he was dead. Yeah. Mm. I saw him as he was dead. That's right. Now, wait a minute. Mm. When this was written, Jesus was alive. He rose and ascended. That's right. But when John saw, stood a lamb as it had been slain. He still saw him dead. Right. That's right. Jesus been back. Been back. Rose and ascended above all heavens. That's right. But the Spirit moved on John to look at the past. Stood a lamb as it had been slain. And what? Having seven horns. Wait a minute. You know he was in the Spirit. Oh yeah. Because the body, the natural body, didn't have no horns. No. He had seven horns and seven eyes. He was symbolic. That was symbolic. That's right. Let you know that the king of kings yeah. was here. That's what he was looking at. Yeah. Uh -huh.
which are the seven spirits of God, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the sent earth, sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him, and what that sat upon the. Throne. All right, go back to the book. Back in Revelation of Revelation. 19. Oh, this is so good. Yes, indeed. Uh -huh. Back in Revelation 19 and at verse 15. Get man. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword. Yeah. That with it he should smite the nation. Uh -huh. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Mm -hmm. And he treadeth the winepress. Hold it. He going back again. Back again. <laughs> Agreeing right. with the prophets. That's right. What did John say? And he treadeth the wine he press treadeth the wine press of the fierceness of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture. And he have what? On his vesture. He have on his garment. And on his name. And on his name. And on his thigh. And on his thigh. A name written. A name written. King of kings. And Lord of Lords. I told you. Amen. He had a name written, King of Kings. And Lord of Lords. Lord of Lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. Then what? And he cried with a loud voice. And said what? Saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, uh -huh. Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God. Wait a minute. He cried to what? He cried to what? Come and gather yourselves together. He cried to what? And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice. To what? Saying to all the fowls. To all the fowls. That fly in the midst of that heaven. That fly in the midst of heaven. Come and gather yourselves come on. together. Gather yourself together. Unto the supper of the great God. Time to eat. Amen. Uh -huh. That ye may eat. That ye may eat. The flesh of kings. That you may do what? That ye may eat the flesh of kings. You see how he prepared things in heaven for the earth? Yeah. Because it ain't no kings in heaven. In heaven. It ain't no kings going to be eaten in heaven. That's right. They're going to be eaten in earth. In earth. There's only one king in heaven. Yeah. You know why? There's only room for one throne. That's right. <laughs> That's, right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. The gentleman I debated, he texted me. He said, uh, the Bible says Jesus was on the right hand of God. He said, is, is there another throne? Next to the throne that God is sitting on? God is sitting on. I said, no. Oh, There's only no. one throne up there. Revelation 4 and at verse 1. Revelation chapter 4, begin at verse, verse 1. After this I looked. After this I looked. And behold, a door was open in heaven. Wait a minute. A door was open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking to me, mm -hmm. which said, Come up hither. Come up hither. And I will show thee things which must be hereafter. What is it? And immediately, Glory to God. I was in the spirit. That's what's missing. That's what's missing. That's what's missing. Amen. You try to break down the Bible without the spirit, you're going to butcher the scriptures. Yes, you will. You're going to make a mess. That's right. And you're going to tell a lie on God himself. And immediately, right away, I was in the spirit. Glory to God, I was in the spirit. And and behold, look a throne. A, a, one, a throne. Here it is. The fellow said you can't use the number one when you talk about God. Mm. And here they tried to use the number three to talk about it. <laughs> That's right. He said you can't use the number one when you talk about God. Wow. And then he gonna try to use the number three on me. That's right. How foolish and how blind and how deceived of the devil. And immediately I was in the spirit. Viewers and you that are here that go to these fake churches in the Tidewater area. Your preacher's not in the spirit. You think being in the spirit is when there's an organ playing behind him and he's hiccuping and spitting all on you and got a robe and his jerry curl left a wet greasy stain on your wife's pocketbook. That's right. He ain't in no spirit. Not in the spirit. <laughs> That's right. Are you listening? Amen. What did he say? And immediately I was in the spirit. Immediately? Immediately. I was in the spirit. And behold, a throne. A throne. Was set in heaven. The reason why he asked me that question, because he wasn't in the spirit. That's right. That's when right. you're in the spirit, you're going to see what the apostles saw. That's right. And you're going to believe what they believe. Amen. And a throne was set in heaven. How many? A throne. Was set in heaven. How I many set there? And one, two, one, three, one, three personalities. One, Haka, O N E, <laughs> one. You, let, let me exegete. One. Better exegete. One. Hen. One. One. Turkey. One. Hebrew, one. Greek, or Latin. Yeah. Don't get.
give you revelation. No. You need to be in the spirit. That's right. To see the things in the spirit. That's right. And uh, God put John in the spirit quick. Immediately. Otherwise, in that man, John would not be able to, to explain or comprehend no what the Lord our God was showing him. That's right. So right away, That's right. he was put in the spirit. Amen. And, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. If it's three, where the other two? That's right. They ain't sitting on an arm. No. It ain't no secret department. No, no. One sat on the throne. And what? And he that sat. And they that sat. And he that sat. Church of Christ, you, Church of God in Christ, you're going to have to do something. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to do something. Do something. Amen. Because we, we're ripping that three false teaching to pieces. That's right. You're going to have to do something. You have to do something. You Catholics that said blood is in heaven, you're going to you have to do something. You have to do something. It ain't no vex you up there with no blood that happened here on earth. That's right. That's right. It's sad to read the book of Revelation and you can't tell a past event from a present Amen. and you trying to lead people mm. Amen. Amen. my wife can teach me about cooking and certain flowers and I help her plant flowers and things like that and sometimes she be calling flowers names as if I know what she's talking about I know some of them you know hibiscus and poison ivory and Roses and daisies and bugavellas, whatever you call them things. Amen. But man, when she started talking all that other stuff and whatnot, and huh, I need revelation for that. That's right. Therefore, speak I to them in parables. Do you hear this? Now in Matthew chapter 13 and verse 13. What is it? Therefore, speak I to them in parables. Yes. Because seeing, seeing, they see not. The Catholics you read. In the 19th chapter of Revelation, mm -hmm. that he was clothed and vexed, dipped in blood. You saw. They see. You saw it written. See not. But you didn't see the understanding of it. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, you ain't even have a clue when it happened. Not a clue. Brother, when I present that question to the priest, he looked at me. You ever, your headlights ever hit a deer? Yes, sir. And a deer look at you like something wrong with you. Amen. <laughs> Brother, he starts sweating around the collar. <laughs> Amen. I say, what happened to Jesus mm -hmm. in, heaven in heaven to make him bleed? He start turning pink. <laughs> I said, sir, please tell me what happened to Jesus happened to in heaven to make him bleed. My Lord. What happened? Who, who caused his garment to bleed? Right. When was it dipped in blood? Because Jesus didn't bleed on his own. Somebody caused it That's to happen. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Then I asked him another question he never thought of. Was he alive when he had it on, bleeding? Because according to the Bible, he was dead. Already. <laughs> but when they came to Jesus. Do you hear? Now in St. John chapter 19 and verse 33. When they came to Jesus. And saw that he was dead already. He was dead already. They break not his legs. They didn't break his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear. Did what? Pierced his side. And forthwith came there out blood and water. That's when his garment got died. died. That's when his vexure got died. That's right. He was dead already. Dead already. You see, they overlook all these fine-tuned languages in the Bible. That's right. They overlook them. Yeah. And again. Do you hear chapter and verse? Now say John chapter 19 and verse 37. What is it? And again. Again. A, another scripture says. Another scripture says. Wait a minute. The apostle doing like we do. <laughs> That's right. Backing all That's up. Or backing all up with Bible. Up. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We're doing like the apostles are doing. That's right. Backing all, backing all of it up with Bible. That's right. Listen, that it sounds so good. Amen. What did he say? And again, again, another scripture said. Another scripture said. And remember, he ain't using the New Testament. 
No. The Always apostle not. is using the Old Testament That's right. because the New Testament wasn't written yet. That's right. Huh? That's right. That the, the apostle John letting you know, I'm going to get a prophet. <laughs> and he, he's going to have to agree with what I'm talking. Right. But as, and again. That's like he got, he got a prophet. We got Isaiah. That's right. I got the prophets. That's right. To show you what we're talking. Amen. Uh -huh. and, and, and again. And again. Another scripture said. Another scripture said. They shall look on him. They're going to look on him. Whom they pierce. They're going to look on him. They shall look on him. And I believe it was Zechariah that Zachariah. said that. That's right. Zechariah and the prophecy came back then. They right. shall look upon me. Right. Whom they have pierced. They pierced. Wasn't no piercing in heaven. No. Nobody bled in heaven. That's right. When he was clothed with the vexure, dipped in blood, his, they didn't pierce him until he died. That's right. Now the question is, if you say, Catholics, yeah. that Jesus was in heaven bleeding, he must have been dead up there. Right. He was dead already. You see, I stopped your mouth. I stopped your mouth. Oh, yeah. Hey, Amen. Let me get the first chapter of the book of Titus. Titus. Chapter 1. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, about verse 13, you know. Titus chapter 1 and at verse 13. Eh? This, what did he say? This witness is true. This witness is true. Therefore, rebuke them sharply. Rebuke them sharply that, that they, they may be sound, sound in the faith. Be quick. Not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men. Uh -huh. That turn from the truth. That turn from the truth. Unto the pure. All things are pure, but, but unto, unto them, them that are defiled and unbelieving. There's nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. What happened? They profess that they know God. Did you hear this, folk? Amen. They out here now claiming they're Christians and Born again. They're liars. They profess that they know God. They make that profession all around the world, That's don't right. they? That's right. That's right. Amen. They profess that they know God. Brother, that Catholic turned red. Amen. I had him wrapped up like a taco. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Just dripping him with all good sauce of the scripture. That's right. <laughs> Just dripping him. He was like a taco. Amen. Huh? A Amen. big taco with a dicky on. My Lord. Glory to God. My Lord. Huh? They profess. They profess. That they know God. That they know God. But in work. But in work. They deny him. They deny him. Being abominable, being abominable and disobedient, being disobedient, and unto every, every good, good work, work reprobate. The Apostle Peter says, "For so it is the will of God That's right. that with well doing you put the silence, the ignorance of foolish men." Foolish men. Mind viewers, get this, because there's millions of you that are Catholics and other religions as well. Do you know the teaching that blood is in heaven? Been around thousands of years. Before I was born. Amen. Thousands of years. Amen. If a man come today and say he got a new revelation, he lied. He lied. he lied because that teaching has been promoted by the Catholic Church thousands of years. That's right. And there's not an apostle or a prophet that preached blood is in heaven. Blood is in heaven. Amen. Not one. Not one. Amen. Hmm? They profess that they know God. Oh, it take God, not one. Amen. And here you had, go back to the book of Revelation. I love this. Back I'm in Revelation. home. Amen. Amen. And you get some more than 19th chapter because we're home, you know. That's right. Uh -huh. Back in Revelation 19, now we're at verse 17. You're going to put me in the attic of the Bible, put me in the basement of the Bible, put me in the closet of the Bible. It's all my house. That's right. I'm right. home. Take Amen. Oh, take God, I take my shoes off, wiggle my toes, and sit back. Go ahead, God, man. God, because I'm home. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. Why am I home? Because he told his preachers, right. it's given. Give it unto you. That's right. I do like Jesus. I thank thee. That's right. Oh, Father. Lord of heaven and earth. But thou hast hid these things from the wise and the prudent. And hast revealed it unto babes. So it seemeth good in thine sight. That's why I stay a babe. Wonderful. That's right. Stay a babe. That's right. Why? So heaven can open up unto me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. I want heaven, hallelujah, glory to hallelujah. God, to open up Amen. unto me. Hallelujah. Amen. And when Williams read yeah. that he was clothed with the vesture, dipped, dipped, dipped in blood, heaven is open up to me. 
city That's and right. I'm able to go to the prophet. That's right. I'm able to go all the way back all before way John back. was born. Amen. And say, another scripture said, That's right. That's right. Who is it that come from Edom? With a dyed garment from bulls off. Them, him that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speaketh righteousness, mighty to save. Mighty to save. Wherefore? Wherefore? Art thou red? What color? Red. What color? Red. Red where? In thine apparel. Amen. Amen. They ain't come yet when the prophet saw it. That's right. And when John saw it, it happened yeah, already. already. That's right. Now, as a preacher, I got to come between uh, the prophet yeah. and the apostle That's right. and tell you when, where, yeah. and how. And how. I got to, I just can't read with close the vexure. I gotta show you cause right. and effect. That's right. Because if I just read close the vexure, dipped in blood, somebody can say, ooh, 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 <laughs> ooh. Right. You know, like, like, like horse shack. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Go ahead, brother. Well, wasn't it, Pastor Dennis? When did he bleed? When did he bleed? Now, if I'm a dumb preacher, oh, he bled in heaven. In fool. Heaven. That's a fool. Cause and effect. That's right. That's right. He bled here. Here. Yeah. For who? You. Amen. Nobody in heaven needs Nobody. blood. That's right. That's right. We need it. It's not necessary up there. Amen. We need it right here. Amen. We need it. And we still need it. Still need That's it. why you got to repent today. That's right. Holy glory. And be baptized. Be baptized. Any one of you in Any the name of, of Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. To get your sins. Hallelujah. Washed away. Amen. Calling upon the name of the Lord. That's right. And that's right. We just can't read it. No, no. We got to dissect it, split it open. Amen. Show you the operation of God. That's right. Show you how God functions. Amen. Now in the book of First John, chapter five, and at verse eight. Hear this. And there are three that bear witness in earth. Where? In earth. Where? In earth. Where? In earth. What is it? The, the spirit. What? The spirit. Spirit. And the water. Water. And the blood, blood, and these three agree in one. And where's that blood located? In earth. Where? In earth. Where? In earth. Where? In earth. Somebody say, well, he just quoted as it is in earth, as it is in heaven, as it is in earth. He said, as his will, his will, his will, our Father, our Father, heart in heaven, hallowed. Or sacred or holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will. Thy what? Done. Will. Thy what? Will. Thy what? Will. Be what? Be done. Where? As in heaven. Amen. Now, the will of the death of the Son of God, the will of it, will of it. came from heaven. That's right. But the actual death of it was here on earth. That's right. Let me show you the will of it. First Peter. First Peter. Let me show you how long was the will how going long. on. That's right. First, First Peter. First Peter chapter 1 and we'll start at verse 17. Be quick. And if he call on the Father who without respect of person uh -huh. judgeth according to every man's work. Pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. Give chapter and verse again. First Peter chapter 1. Now we're at verse 18. All right. For as much as you know. As much as you know. That you were not redeemed with corruptible things. Such as what? As silver and gold. But what? From your vain conversation received by tradition from your father. How do we get redeemed? But with the precious blood of Christ. As of a lamb. Yeah. Wait a minute. Mm. Go back and read that again. For as much as you know. Wait a minute. As much as who know? As ye know. That what? That ye were not redeemed with you. corruptible things. There wasn't nobody need no redemption in heaven? No. We needed redemption. That's right. Yes, ye were not redeemed. Ye were not redeemed. With corruptible things. With corruptible things that silver and gold. Received from your conversation. Received by tradition from your father. Uh -huh. But with the precious blood of Christ. How? As of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Wait, wait, spot. wait. Wait, he agreed with Brother John. Yeah. John said, I saw a lamb as it has been slain. It has been slain. All that points to the earth. That's right. All of it. Right. Thank God for knowledge. Amen. Amen. He told his preachers, yeah. it's given yeah. unto you know the to know it. Know it. Thank
Thank God we know it, and we're still getting more of it. That's right. Yeah. Never can get enough. Yeah. Huh? Who, who verily, who verily was foreordained? Wait a minute. Amen. This is the will that was in heaven. Who verily was foreordained? This lamb was ordained before the foundation of the world. Give me the book of Jasher. Let's see what the Bible says about that uh, the sacrifice in Abraham's day. Right. About the goat, about the goat. Uh, about that he was going to offer. That's right. You know, and because Isaac wasn't offered all the way, but there was a when he got a ram. Yeah. There was a statement that the word of God said about the ram, yes. which was the same statement that Peter said about Jesus. That's right. You better move quick, son. And in the I'm book on of the Joshua, you got to move quick. Come on. In the book of Joshua, chapter 23. All right. And we'll start at verse 70. Come on, son. And Abraham, and Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw. Yes. And behold, a ram was caught in the thicket by his horn. You know, God told Abraham to offer up Isaac. That's right. Amen. And when it came time to offer up Isaac, uh, he was about to smote him. Yeah. Right. Amen. But the great God Jehovah. Amen. Took and got a substitute sacrifice. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey, oh, he pushed Abraham to the limit. Amen. Didn't he do so? That's right. But he come along and got a substitute. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw. And saw. And behold, a ram was caught in a thicket by a his horns. A ram was caught. In a thicket by his horns. In the thicket by his horns. That was the ram. Glory. Amen. That was the ram. The ram. Which the Lord God had created. Which the Lord God created. In the earth. In the earth. In the day. In the day. That he made earth and heaven. That he made earth and heaven. For the Lord had prepared this ram. The Lord prepared it. From that day. From that day. To be a burnt offering. To be a burnt offering. Instead of Isaac. The Lord had prepared this ram. The will of God in heaven. Amen. For the Son of God on earth yeah. was to be prepared. That's right. He prepared him. That's right. For the foundation of the world. The he was prepared. That's right. Don't you hear him say, sacrifice and offering thy word is not, but a body thou hast what? Prepared me. You done what? Prepared me. For the Lord had prepared this ram. This look, just like the ram was prepared. prepared. Uh -huh. From that day. From that day. To be a burnt offering. To be a burnt offering. Instead of Isaac. Instead of Isaac. And this ram was advancing to Abraham. Now, you that are watching. Yeah. Jesus is advancing to you. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Amen. He said, come unto me. Come unto me. Glory to God. All you that are labor. That's right. And are heavy laden. I, I, I give you rest. That's right. Take my yoke. Yo. Mm -hmm. Amen. Take my yoke. The moment he say, take my yoke, he's pointing out another characteristic that he had. Go ahead. The characteristics of an ox. That's right. Take my yoke, my yoke upon, upon you and learn That's right. of me. For my yoke is easy. My burden is light. Amen. Huh? And this ram, this ram was advancing to Abraham uh -huh. when Satan caught hold of him. Wait a minute. Viewers. Just like the devil got a hold of Abraham, the devil's getting hold of you. Yeah. And you that are here. Right. That's why you in all these different churches and all that stuff. Some of you go to a Baptist church Sunday morning and a Lutheran church Sunday night. Right. You know you're a child of the devil. That's right. A Pentecostal church on Thursday and an apostolic church on Friday. Yeah. And go to mass on Saturday so you can get a shot of wine. <laughs> Amen. To wash the devil down, that's in you. That's right. Eh? Amen. Get that devil out of hell. Amen. Go back to the book of Revelation, son. Back the 19th Revelation. chapter. I thank God for this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Back in Revelation 19, now we're at verse 18. Yeah. That ye may eat the flesh of kings. That ye may eat the flesh of kings. And the flesh of captains. And the, fl and the flesh of what? And the flesh of captains. Captains. And the flesh of mighty men. Real quick. And the flesh of horses. And of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men. He ain't no flesh in heaven. No. 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 Amen. Give me the book of Kings real quick. When the prophet asked the Lord, open up the eyes of his servants. Huh? Amen. That's you see, I got, I, I, I got to bring all of this because the Bible made a statement in heaven that tell the birds to come on and eat and eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of horses and he's looking at all this in heaven and we are letting the world know it ain't no fleshy horses in heaven that's right. ain't a fleshy 
us up there. Yeah. At all. At all. Eh? In the book of 2 Kings, oh. chapter 6. Another scripture says, Another scripture. give chapter and verse. Second Kings chapter 6, we'll start at verse 16. Uh -huh. And he answered, fear not. Fear not. For they that be with us. They that be with us. Are more than they that be with them. More than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed. It, oh. Amen. Hallelujah Amen. to God. Hallelujah. The man of God prayed. And said, Lord. Lord. I pray thee. I pray thee. Open his eyes. That's what I'm asking God to do to these unbelievers. Open his eyes. Open the eyes. That he may see. You that are watching and you that may be here that don't believe this is the truth of the gospel, gospel. and this is the work of God, I pray that God will open your eyes. Open his eyes. That's right. Huh? That's right. Can't you see what God is doing? Amen. Can't you see the knowledge that's being displayed by heaven? Yeah. And people are learning by the millions. That's right. That's right. Why is it out of all these preachers, everything practically targets the truth of God? Right. Because the devil knows exposing him. That's right. That's right. One thing about the devil, he don't want you to know him. No. He know in order for you to know him, you got to learn the truth about God. That's right. And God is his maker. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And and Elisha prayed. Elisha prayed. And said, Lord, I pray thee. Lord, I pray thee. Open his eyes. Open his eyes. That he may see. That he can see. And the Lord opened the and eyes the of the young man. the eyes of the young man. And he saw. And what did he see? And behold, the mountain was full of horses. Glory. The and of chariots. Oh, oh, hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. And behold. Let, 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 us, let, us, let us remember that in the book of Revelation. Yeah. He looked up in the heaven. And the armies which were in heaven. The armies that was in heaven. Followed him upon white horses. Followed him that was on white horses. Clothed in fine linen. Clothed in fine linen. White and clean. White and clean. White and clean. And their fowls was told to gather. That's right. That's, and, and, and eat what? That ye may eat the flesh of kings. The flesh of kings. And the flesh of captains. The flesh of captains. And the flesh of mighty men. And the flesh of mighty men. And the flesh of horses. And don't you tell me that was that that, that eat was going to take place in heaven. In heaven. Let's see what the horses are in heaven. Now back in 2 Kings chapter 6 and at verse 17. What is it? And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man. Yes. And he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses. Yes. And chariots of fire. No. Horses and chariots of flesh. Horses and chariots of fire. There wasn't no fleshy horse pulling a, 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 a fiery chariot. No, no way. The chariot would have burnt his tail out. That's right. You're so foolish, you're so blind. Amen. Logic and revelation don't blend. No. Uh, that, 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 that's, that's like oil and water. That's right. Oil always comes to the surface. That's right. After a lie go out, truth always come up to the top. Amen. Huh? Amen. All right. And behold, the mountain was full of horses. Yes. And chariots of fire. Yes. Round about Elisha. Uh -huh. And when they came down to him. When they came to him. Elisha prayed unto the Lord. And said what? And said, smite this people, I smite pray. Smite them, you, Lord. With blindness. With blindness. And he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. Hmm? Amen. Go back to the book of Revelation so I can knock off. This is good. This is good. All right. Back in Revelation 19 and verse 18. Yes. That ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains. Uh -huh. And the flesh of mighty men. And the flesh of horses. And of them that sit on them. The Catholics preach flesh and blood is in heaven. The Baptists believe flesh and blood is in heaven. The Pentecostal believe flesh and blood is in heaven. Many of the so-called apostolics believe flesh and blood is in heaven. And he is God knows what's up there with him. God knows what's up there with him. That's right. And God ain't never told you he's no flesh and blood up there with him. No, he didn't. And he's in heaven and everywhere. Amen. You're so foolish. Amen. So deceive of the devil. Yeah. What did he say? And the flesh of all men. The flesh of all men. Both free and bond. What? Both small and great. What? And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth. It ain't no armies. beast in heaven. No way. But no yeah, he's looking in heaven and see all this. I saw the beast. The, the, the revealing of the beast is to take place here on earth. On earth. That's right. He's looking in heaven, in heaven. and God has shown him what's to take place here on earth. But he's looking at it in heaven. That's right. Amen. A good example. The four horsemen. Yeah. He saw it in heaven. In heaven. But each event that will follow the four horsemen, whether it's on the pale horse, yeah. the red horse, the white horse, each 
each event yeah. is going to take place here on earth. Yeah. But he saw it. In heaven. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? That's right. That's right. This is so beautiful. And I saw the beast. All right, Lee, give chapter and verse. Now in Revelation chapter 19. I verse saw 19, the beast. And the kings of the earth. And the kings of the earth. And their armies. And their armies. Gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse. Wait. 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 Amen. Wait. And I saw the beast. I saw the beast. And the kings of the earth. And the kings of the earth. And their armies. And their armies. Gathered together to make war against him. That sat on the horse. And the one that sat on the horse is Jesus. Jesus. Amen. And ain't no war going to take place in heaven. No. Because it said the kings of the what? Kings of the earth. The kings of the what? Of the earth. And if anybody going to fight against Jesus, they ain't going to be in heaven. Not in heaven. I saw the kings of the earth. The kings of the earth. And their armies. And well, ain't, no, ain't no military in heaven from the earth. No, no. But he looked and saw it in heaven. In heaven. Ain't no, ain't no Air Force and no, Coast, Guard Coast Guard and Navy. Amen. Viewers, viewers, viewers. Stop letting these men quote scriptures to you. That's right. That's right. Even Daniel saw the death of the Messiah. That's right. Didn't it? That's right. Glory to God, he saw the death of the Messiah and let you know how many weeks gone past. Right. Till he cut off. Yeah. The Messiah got to be cut off. That's right. And he ain't going to be cut off in earth. No. He's going to be cut off, or rather in heaven, he's going to be cut off right here. In the book of Daniel chapter 10, or rather in the book of Daniel chapter 9. Real quick. And at verse 25. All right. Know therefore and understand. You better begin at verse 24, at verse Daniel 24. 9, 24. 70 weeks are determined. You better begin at Daniel 9, 23. 9, 23. At the beginning of thy supplication. 9, 20. 9, 20. And while I was speaking. Hallelujah. Amen. You got to have a praying prophet, brother. That's right. Yes, while I was speaking. And praying. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. And praying. And confessing my sin. Uh, that's what you better do. Yeah. Amen. That's what everything better do. That's right. That alone showed you that there was imperfection yeah. in the God sent man. That's right. Eh? That's right. Eh? Amen. Do you hear? Do you while hear? Do you hear? Speaking. Do you hear? Amen. While I was speaking. And praying. And praying. And confessing my sin. My sin. My sin. My sin. Now let's know the prophet had to work on himself. That's right. Not just to get right, but stay right. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. And God. confessing my sin. Confessing my sin. And the sin of my people Israel. And the sin of my people Israel. And presenting my supplication before the Lord my God. Yes. For the holy mountain of my God. Uh -huh. Yea, whilst I was speaking in prayer. While I was praying unto the Lord. Even the man Gabriel. Oh. The man Gabriel. Whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning. What is it? Being caused to fight swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. And what did he say? And he informed me. He informed me. And talked with me. And said what? And said, oh Daniel. Oh Daniel. I am now come forth to I give thee come skill. to give you skill. And understanding. And give you understanding. At the beginning of thy supplication. That's what's needed. Skill. Yeah. Skill. You need skill to explain the scripture. That's right. You need skill to write and divide the scripture. That's right. And to have that skill, you got to have understanding of the scripture. That's right. So what you read don't conflict with another scripture. Right. Then you get what I'm telling you. Amen. Wonderful. Everybody can't work under the hood of a car. No. No, no, no. everybody can't do that. No. God know what you're doing. That's right. That's right. I remember my father, he was one of those, <laughs> my father was one of those fellas. He didn't know what he was doing under the hood of a car. Mm -hmm. He didn't, I remember, he, he wasn't a driver, but he was the type of fellow that believed, well, well if I try it, it's going to work. <laughs> I remember years ago, my brother had a 1972 Skylark. And uh, now if you got one brother, that thing worth some money. Yeah. And he gave it to my mother. And Tony went on and bought himself, a, I think it was a Lincoln or a Caddy. And uh, the battery <laughs> was loose. So my father, he said, Gene, calling me. Come out here a minute and hold his battery. My mother said, what in the world he's doing now? <laughs> Man, my father had the hood up. Now, you know, sometimes when a person got a hood up, you were like, oh, he working on the car. Not always. Amen. Sometimes they just under the hood. That's right. 
So the battery was loose. My father, you know how you get some shimmy, like wood, the shimmy? He had wood jammed in there. Then he got one of his old belts. He said, now I want you to hold that side of the belt. I said, daddy, look, <laughs> this thing get hot, it gonna burn. <laughs> he said, ain't nothing gonna burn, hold the belt. <laughs> By the time my father was done, he had sticks, Lord. wood, and a big old leather belt to hold that battery in place. Lord. He didn't know what he was doing. Amen. But in his eyes, it worked. it worked. When I was little, I used to see men with their cars shining. And my father told me one day, to wash my mother's car. Mm. And I figured, well, I know what I'm doing. So, you know, it's just certain things they made to use on cars to wash with. Amen. I was a little fella, so I figured, well, if Comic can clean a tub. <laughs> some comic, big bucket of water, oh my God. and what made it so bad, I sprinkled the car with comics. <laughs> Don't tell me nothing, man. I, I thought I had revelation. Oh Lord. And I got them cloths and whatnot and washed that car. I was wondering why my friends kept laughing. They said, Nikki. What are you doing? I said, I'm cleaning my mother's car. Leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. You ain't supposed to use comics. I was like, shut up. <laughs> That's my mama's car. <laughs> mm -hmm. So when I rinsed it off, it was shining. shining. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. But when the sun came out, <laughs> man, that car was ashy on wheels. My father came out, he looked, he said, what? I said, I washed the car, but it dried up. He said, what's your use? I said, comic. He said, what? <laughs> now, preachers, preachers, don't you do like I did. Amen. We're laboring viewers so you can learn the Bible. That's right. The preachers are using comic to try to clean you up. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. And you're still ashy and ashy. dirty. And That's right. Just as ignorant of the Bible. Amen. You need to be redone. Redone. I don't care how much that man screaming loud. He's using comic on you. That's right. Glory to God. God, you need to be redone. Amen. Come on, son, so I can finish up. But go back to Daniel, give chapter and verse. Back in Daniel uh, 9 and verse 22. All right. I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. Uh -huh. At the beginning of thy supplications, the commandment came forth. Yes. And I am come to show thee. I come to show you. Thou art greatly beloved. Yes. Therefore, understand the matter. Do you hear? Amen. Understand the, matter. the situation. And consider the vision. And then give consideration to what was being shown. Seven. John was able to consider what was God showing him in Revelation. Right. Revelation. That's why he wasn't able to get it mixed up That's and right. think of Vexion was actually in heaven with blood. With blood yeah. He knew the cause and effect that happened here on earth. That's right. All right. Therefore, understand the matter and consider the vision. Yes. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people uh, and look upon thy holy city uh -huh. to, to finish the transgression. Finish the transgression. And to make an end and of sin. And to sins. make an end of what? Of sin. Of sin. And to make reconciliation for iniquity. Yes. And to bring in to everlasting bring in righteousness. Everlasting righteousness. And to seal up the vision and prophecy. Wait a minute. A time going to come that the prophets and what they see got to be sealed up. Sealed up. Hey Amen. You got to seal all that stuff up. That's Shut right. it down. That's right. And, and to anoint the most holy. Uh-oh. 
going to anoint who? The most holy. That means wasn't no one more holy than him. That's right. All right. Know therefore and understand. That what? That from the going forth of the commandment. From the going forth of the commandment. To restore and to build to restore Jerusalem. restore and build Jerusalem. Unto the, mes unto, unto the unto, Messiah, the wait prince. Wait a minute. To restore. And to build. And to build. Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Unto the Messiah. Unto the Messiah. The prince. The prince. Shall be seven weeks. Shall be seven weeks. And three score and two and weeks. And three score and two weeks. The streets shall be built again. The streets will be built again. And the wall. And the wall. Even in trouble it's time. Well, he's looking at what's going to take place on earth. On earth. Even in trouble it's time. And after three score and two weeks. What happened? Shall Messiah be cut off. Uh, Amen. Yeah. The Messiah going to be cut off but when? After three score and two weeks. Then what? Shall Messiah be cut off. What else? But not for himself. But for who? And and the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. Uh -huh. And the end thereof shall be with a flood. What? And unto the end of the war desolations are determined. And? And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Yes. And in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblations to cease. None of that is talking about heaven. You know why? It ain't no weeks in heaven. Weeks. It's all eternity. That's right. You see the language of the scripture? And he shall confirm the covenant. He shall confirm the covenant. With many for one week. With many for one week. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And? And for the overspreading of abomination. Go back to Revelation real fast. 19th chapter. Back in Revelation 19, now we're at verse 20. Real quick. And the beast was taken. And with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him. Yes. With which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. That's, I did not tell you earlier. That has to do with the mark of the beast. Mark of the beast. And I saw the beast. I saw the beast. And the kings of the earth. This is earth. Earth. But yet, his beginning statements was, right. I saw in heaven. That's right. Then you know what he said? And I saw heaven open. I saw heaven open. Open. But the events that he saw what God showed him would take place here. That's right. Here. And I saw the he beast. He saw it in heaven, right. but the actual events took place and will take place right here. Right here. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 That's the truth of it. That's the truth of it. What did he say? And I saw the beast. I saw the beast. And the kings of the earth. And the, everything right here. Earth. Kings of the earth. And their armies. And their army. Gathered together to make war against him. Gathered together to make war against him. That sat on the horse. That sat on the horse. And against his army. And against his army. And the beast was taken. And the beast was taken. And with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him. What? With which he deceived them. That had received the mark of the beast. So you, all that will take place right here. Right here. Amen. Amen. Don't you hear the Bible talking about that they shall make war, war. with the saints? With the saints. <laughs> saints is the church. That's Amen. right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Amen. You that are watching and you that are here, repent. Repent. Amen. 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 Repent. If there's anybody here want to obey the truth of God's message, Pen of your sins and be baptized in water. In the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet. Anybody want to be baptized, stand on your feet. If not, you that are watching, we got one. We got two. Oh, you got to have it. We got three. Amen. Glory to God. You got to have it. You that are standing. You see them that's standing back there? Them that's in back of you? Go with them. Amen. All right, right. Oh, he right is gone. <laughs> All right, sisters and brothers. Get the sister and the brother together. Brothers of baptism, thank God for that. I'm so glad for knowledge. Wonderful. We're not a dumb preacher. That's right. Able to teach you right. That's right. That's wonderful. How the Bible harmonized perfectly. Perfect. He was clothed with the vexture. Dipped in blood. Dipped in blood. It wasn't, it was, that wasn't in heaven. He, no. saw it in heaven. he saw it in heaven. But the event took place here on earth. That's right. It just appeared there. That's right. All this stuff he read. Yeah. He, he looking in heaven. Heaven open. All that stuff. 
the army, the horses. He's looking at heaven. heaven but all of it was right here. Right here. What do you mean looking at heaven? It was made known to him. That's right. Amen. Let me use the word the Bible used. Revelation 1 and 1. <laughs> revelation 1 <laughs> and 1. What did it say? The revelation. What? The revelation. Of who? Of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Amen. The revelation, the revealing. Of Jesus the Christ. The make known. So when John saw up in heaven, clothed with affection, he saw Jesus. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. He saw Jesus clothed with affection, but it already happened. Already happened. Because when he was clothed with that affection, he was dead already. Already. And there is no corpses in heaven. You see how these men overlooked the Bible? Amen. That's right. That's wonderful. When he was clothed with affection, dipped in blood, he was already dead. Amen. Because when they came to him and saw he was dead already, they pierced him. They pierced him. Before then, his vexture was dry. That's right. No blood. No blood. Zachariah said, the Lord said through him, they shall look upon me, whom they have pierced. No flesh and blood came from heaven, Catholics, and anybody else. No flesh and blood was ever in heaven. No blood was in there. When you say blood, that means sacrifice. That's right. All sacrifices was here. It was here. Even before the Son of Man walked earth. Yeah. Lambs, bullocks, right. heifers, right. turtle doves. doves. Right here. Right here. Even us, all of us are sacrifices. Yeah. We sacrifice ourselves right here, right here. So we can make it up there. That's right. The Apostle Paul said, present your what? Bodies. Your what? Bodies. Your what? Bodies. Your, your what? Bodies. Living sacrifice. Let's see how many bodies is it. Amen. Give me the 15th Amen. chapter. 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. Corinthians. I want to educate you and give you a belly full. Maybe you can shout by tomorrow, but amen. amen. Let's see what God, how many bodies is it. I believe 15 begin at verse 40, if I'm not mistaken. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and at verse 40. You better move quick, son. My time is moving. There are also celestial bodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get at verse 39. 39. All flesh. All flesh is not the is same. Is not. Flesh. Hmm. All flesh is not the same flesh. All flesh is not the same. But. But there is one kind of flesh uh -oh. of men. There's one kind of flesh of men. Another flesh of beasts. Another flesh of beasts. Another of fishes. So I said, well, wait a minute. I, all, I thought all flesh is the same. No. Do you hear the Bible? All flesh is not the same flesh. Yeah, let me analyze that and show you why. Why? See, the Bible said when a beast die, that spirit go down with him. When a man die, his spirit go upward. Go upward. All flesh is not the same. Not a the beast same. can't repent. Right. That's right. Why? Because a beast don't have the characteristics of God. Right. Even it repented God for making man. man. That's right. God feels sorrow. God feels pain. Right. God laughs. Right. Laugh at your calamity. Man. God get angry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God here, yes. but God don't sleep. Right. God walk. Yeah. And where? Let, listen at this. Wherever God go, He's already there. He's already there. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Wherever God go. That's right. He already there. That's right. Because the word of God says he fulfills Amen. heaven and earth alone. Amen. Amen. That's not wonderful? Yes. Amen. Wherever God goes, he's already there. Amen. Amen. What did he say there? All flesh is All not the same flesh. All flesh is not the same flesh. But there is one kind of flesh. There is one kind of flesh of beasts. Another flesh of beasts. Ah. Another of fishes. Yes. And another bird. Yes. There are also celestial bodies. A celestial body. Now, a celestial body is a body that we're looking to have. Right. We don't have it yet. That's right. 
And we're, we're, we're striving to get that kind of body. Right. It's called a celestial, but yet it's still a body. Right. But it's an eternal body. That's right. And there are celestial bodies. There are celestial bodies. And bodies terrestrial. And bodies terrestrial. That's what you got now. Right. Uh -huh. But the glory of the celestial is one. The glory or the function. Of the what? Of the celestial. Of the celestial. Is one. Is one because that celestial can appear and disappear. That's right. It can appear and disappear. Yeah. Someone say, can it eat? Yes. Oh, yeah. Do I have to eat? No. 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 Give me Bible way it ate. Give me the book of Genesis. Genesis. Huh? That's right. I'm going to show you where celestial ate. That's right. Give me Genesis with Lot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get this now. Genesis chapter 18. Follow me, follow me. You got to read quick, son. Amen. Come on. Genesis chapter 18. Read right. quick. We got church tomorrow. Come on. We're at verse 3. <laughs> all right. Genesis chapter 18. We'll start at verse 1. Look at all this Bible. We're getting a good lesson tonight. Oh, yeah. You viewers, this is a good lesson. You that's on the internet, this is a good lesson. That's After right. you done cussing, sit and watch the whole thing. Amen. I want to say to you, I believe it's Tim Smith. Mr. Tim Smith, he always get on internet, call me the Antichrist, a child of the devil, and he call all the members of First Church uh, Antichrist and false and all that. Tim, Tim, you must really love Pastor Jennings because you don't miss a message, Tim. Tim, I want to thank you for all your comments you made. Tune in again next week. Same holy time. Same station. Tim, you really love Pastor Jennings. You really do. Amen. I mean, you, you, you watch every program and, and you make comments. You know, you, you really touch my heart, man. Amen. I mean, the obscene things that you say. Lord. I love it how God allowed you to fulfill the scriptures. That's why you're my footstool, Tim. That's right. Yeah. Amen. God said, I make my in I make your enemies your footstool. Amen. You're my footstool, Timmy. Yeah. You're my footstool, you don't even know it. Don't even know it. Yeah, there's one statement he made that Pastor Jennings won't challenge him. Really? What? All right, the invitation is open, tiny Tim. Come on here. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God, I seen you tiptoeing through the toilet. Amen. Eh? Amen. Come on, tiny Tim. If you think what you got is packing some truth, Pack come on here. And don't sit on the internet after this. Come on down here. Timothy Smith, come Go on down. Go ahead. You come on down here. Amen. And see if, if I don't open up all these cans of whoop scripture. Amen. <laughs> huh? Oh, my God. Sit there and do all that talk, tiny Tim. Go ahead, brother. Come on. Come on. Just bring it. Go ahead. Huh? Just bring it. <laughs> come on, Tim. Come on. You ain't going to come. You ain't coming. No, no. Hey Amen. Someone ought to go buy Tim Smith a ukulele. Let him just sit there. Tim, talk, do the talk I love. I'm scared to debate Pastor Jim. Oh, my God. I am so afraid of <laughs> to debate Pastor Jennings now. Oh, my God. I right, take the word of God and shut your britches shut down. Shut him down. You internet British talkers. Amen. Come on, Tim. Amen. Come out the hole. Come out the hole. Come on out. That's right. I take the word of God and body slam you down to the level of the grave itself. That's right. And I do that. Yes, you will. I do a good job. That's I right. I was made a preacher. Amen. I do it. Yes, you will. Oh, internet and all that talk. Amen. Come on from behind your screen. Come from behind the screen. I'll Body slam you with the Bible. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Where did he say that? Genesis chapter 18. We'll start at verse 1. I love this. Amen. I love to agitate false prophets. <laughs> yes, you do. And I agitate you. Oh, yeah. I want to say, why you do that? The Bible said, mock them. Mock them. I mock you. That's right. Make diviners mad. Amen. Turn the wisdom of the wise backward and make their knowledge foolish. foolish. Amen. All right, come on. Genesis 18, we'll start at verse 1. All right. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre. Uh -huh. And he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. Yes. And he lift up his eyes and looked. I want to show you how celestial eight. Yeah. All right. And he lift up his eyes and looked and those three men stood by him. Oh, yeah, who the Bible said it was? The Lord. 
And then what did the Bible call it? Three men. Who did the Bible say it was? The Lord. Yeah, who did the Bible call it? Three men. And Balaam said, God is not a man. That's right. But that was the shape and the form and the fact that he appeared as. That's right. All right. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door. Real quick. And bowed himself toward the ground. And said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. Yes. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. Yes. Down in verse 7. All right. And Abraham ran unto the herd. Abraham and, ran to the herd. And fetched a calf tender and good. And did what? And gave it unto a young man, and he hasted to dress it. Uh -huh. And he took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed. Yes. And set it before them, and he stood by them under the tree. And what? And they did eat. And yet, who the Bible said came? The Lord. And what happened with the, with the calf and the milk and the butter? And he stood by them under the tree, and they did eat. Did you hear this? Amen. Did you hear how beautiful this is? Amen. These men don't know how to use the Bible. God got to give you his word and teach you how to use it. That's right. All right, let's go back to the book of Corinthians so I can establish the two, the, the two different bodies. Back in 1 Corinthians 15, we're at verse 40. Parliament. There are also celestial bodies. There are celestial bodies. A celestial body is a body that's eternal. Right. It can eat if God wanted to. That's right. It can eat. It can eat. It walk and talk. It yeah. can appear and disappear. And disappear. That's the body we're striving to have. That's yeah. right. All right. And bodies terrestrial. Oh, that's the body we got now. That's why we got so much problem with it. That's right. The terrestrial, the terrestrial, right. the terrestrial body is the problematic body. That's right. The celestial body. Well, you made it then, brother. You made it. You made it then. Uh, amen. The terrestrial is the problematic body. Yeah. That's the body that got you in trouble now. That's, That's right. That's why you're always repenting with this terrestrial body. That's right. Your terrestrial needs to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. But the glory of the celestial is one. The glory of the celestial is one. And the glory of the terrestrial is another. See the difference? All right. There is one glory of the sun. All right. That's enough of that. I guess I want to show you the difference between them both. All right. right. God give us all something good tonight. Amen. Now, let me say to all you that are here, you that are watching, I know many of you get upset when different people make comments that are negative about the message. As I said on many occasions, don't ever fight or argue with any of them who make comments over the telecast. We got enough gospel to handle the world. Amen. This gospel can handle the world and every religion on the earth. That's right. Huh? That's Don't you hear the Apostle Paul said, if an angel come from heaven and preach any other gospel that different from what he preached, let the angel be a curse. As I said before, so sad now again, if any man, Paul tackled angels in heaven and he wrapped men up on earth. So if this gospel can handle anybody, never waste your time and argue with anybody. Let them say all the negative things. Let them get it off their chest. Yeah. When the smoke clear, God is still one. You still got to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You still got to seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost. There's still no other way but one way. And that way is holiness. Amen. And there's nothing else under the sun. Wonderful. That have any truth at all. If it deviate in one thing. From what the word of God said. Thank you for listening brothers and sisters.